Hi guys, Pastor Gary here. Hey, I wanted to share my thoughts with you about Sunday's message in Luke's Gospel chapter 6. It was there that we saw a couple of instances of where Jesus had been accused by the Pharisees of breaking the law. Oh, the first one had to do with his disciples going through the fields and plucking grain, and they likened that to harvesting, and they, they asked him why it was that they were breaking the law. But then they went into the synagogue, and there Jesus saw a, a man with a withered hand, and, and the scripture would kind of indicate that the Pharisees had staged this because they knew that if Jesus saw this man with a withered hand, that he would have compassion on the man. Not only would he have compassion, but that he would take and heal him and oh, Oh man, that was a violation of the law. It was a violation for anyone to work on the Sabbath and healing was considered a form of work. Well, Jesus asked him a question in the midst of this, seeing and knowing what's going on. He says, let me ask you a question. Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil? Is it lawful to save a life or to destroy? And of course, there was no way for them to answer this. But what Jesus did then is he told the man to stretch out his hand. And in doing, he healed him right on the spot. Oh, the Pharisees were, were just livid. But they also had exactly what they had looked for. They had what they believed was Jesus Christ breaking the law. But what Jesus was doing is he was establishing not that the law in itself had had an issue, but that they had an issue with how they were applying the law. You see, a day of rest, a time of rest was a gift from God given to Israel. It was an, an opportunity for them to cease from their labor and to, and to reflect on his goodness, to be thankful for his provision, to draw close to God. And God's laws, the Ten Commandments, were all given for our good. Each and every one of them are meant to be an expression of God's perfect love through his perfect law. Jesus, when he was asked, and we see it recorded in Matthew's gospel, of what the greatest law was. And Jesus told them, he said, there's two things that can, that can be considered the greatest. And all of the law and all of the prophet prophets hang on these two things. The first is that we would love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, and strength. And the second is that we would love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And really what Jesus did is he took 10 laws, the 10 commandments, and he boiled it down into one thing. And that one thing is love. Now folks, let me tell you, I, like anybody else, need laws. I, I need regulation. I need standards and, and, and practices that I follow in my own life in order to be able to, to stay in the right. But never should I allow any of that to be put before the need for love. You see, the law is good. The law is that which allows us to be able to see the perfect standard and the perfect love of God reflected to us. But if we use the law as a weapon, if we use the law as something that does not pro promote love, does not promote good, does not do the good versus evil, does not bring life rather than to destroy it, oh, then we're missing the meaning of the law. Oh, Jesus was just, was just so perfect and giving us the example that there can be a greater need over that of exercising the letter of the law. Oh, he didn't throw it out. He didn't say the law wasn't important. As a matter of fact, Jesus said that not one jot, not one tittle, not one little portion of the law will pass away until all is fulfilled. But what he did say is that we're to love. We're to take and use his example to share ourselves, share with others the love of Jesus Christ, the love of God, even in the law, we find his love. Guys, have a great week. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.